Insurgency's newest update 1.14, Operation Accolade, brought us some new game-breaking bugs that have made the game unplayable for a lot of the players out there. Now, it's been two weeks and New World Interactive still hasn't released a hotfix for these bugs. And I honestly have no idea if it's gonna take them another day or the whole year to get these fixed. So I decided to try and find a way to fix them and make this video for you guys to help you make the game playable and enjoyable once again. Now I've collected solutions for 7 of the most common bugs right now, but unfortunately not all of the bugs can be fixed. So, you know, it's unfortunate, but we're just gonna have to wait for the hotfix honestly on some parts of the game. And I do really hope they're gonna come out with that soon. And please guys if you do find any of these tips useful consider liking the video and subscribing to my channel it's the absolute best way to support my channel and it will also help other people find this video and these bug fixes now let's get into the bugs and how to fix them let's go if you've suddenly noticed that you're missing blood spatters, you can actually turn them back on by simply just turning on the dismemberment option in the game settings now, if you're having an issue where all your scopes are black, then you need to set your FOV higher, which is your field of view. I've found 92 to be a sweet spot, because if you put it to 100, it'll make some of the scopes partially see-through. All underbarrel attachments make the reloading of the MDR take a second or so longer, so just don't use any underbarrel attachments and the reloading won't have any latency on it. Anti-cheat client integrity violation. I actually got this one myself and there's a couple of fixes for it. The first thing you should try is to find insurgency in Steam and click properties, local files and verify integrity of game files. This will take a couple of minutes and once it's done it might download a couple of missing files. After this everything should work normally. This is a good thing to do if you ever have any problems with any games on Steam. Verifying the files usually fixes the problem. However, if this does not work then I suggest you log out of Steam and restart your PC entirely. This is the only thing that really worked for me. I've heard a lot of people say that when they join the game, the game says you need to select a class even though they've already selected it. And unfortunately I don't have insurgency on a console myself, so I tried to do some research and I found out that you need to press the deploy button in order to move forward, so that's X on Xbox I think, and square on PS5. Interaction wheel toggle bug. This thing unfortunately cannot be fixed, but a small tip is that you can quickly close it by simply just aiming down the sights. This is a really useful tip if you run into an enemy and you need to get rid of it quickly. It's saved my ass at least a couple of times already, so yeah. If your account's settings and presets got reset, do this. There's two options. Option 1. Navigate to local app data. Insurgency. Saved. Saved games. Copy everything from profile to Steam profile, just paste it there. After that you need to select everything and set them to read only, otherwise Steam will automatically overwrite them again. Also remember to switch off the read only once they actually fix this bug or otherwise it won't work normally after that. The option number 2 is navigate to Steam files, user data, find the folder with the most folders in it. Find a folder called 581320, go to remote, copy everything inside the profile folder and do the same thing as in option 1. So go back to local app data, insurgency, save, saved games and paste everything into steam profile. And once again with the option number 2 don't forget to put it under read only mode. And yeah, that should fix it, I hope it fixes for you, it did work for me. But yeah, that's all the fixes I have for you guys today. Um, I hope you find these useful. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next one.